that? What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back and checking out the video. Today I'm going to show you how to find exhaust leaks the quickest, the safest, and the fastest. I just said the quickest, the fastest, the safest. The easiest. The easiest way to find an exhaust leak on your car. So as you can tell already, Jeep Cherokee. Alright, so all you're going to need uh, pretty much to find this exhaust leak is... All you're going to need is a bottle with some soapy water. This is actually just an old Febreze bottle with some uh, bubble bath, some kids bubble bath, and a shop vac. Okay, so with the shop vac, uh, you have two sides of a shop vac. This is the side that sucks in all the dirt, and this is the side that just blows all the air out. And what you're gonna be using is you're gonna be using the side that blows out. So you're gonna wanna connect your hose aside, connect your hose to the side, blows the air out. All right, then we just get the end of it and just jam it in the tailpipe like so. All right, so now that I got the shop vac hooked up to the exhaust, uh, when you turn it on, it should blow just the right amount of air through the exhaust system where you can use uh, your bottle and some soapy water and pretty much spray it all over all the joints wherever you think the leak is coming from. All right, so this is a 2008 Jeep Wrangler with a 3.8 in it. And I pretty much know the leak is coming from this side here. And these particular Wranglers have the issue where these manifolds actually crack. Uh, I know for a fact that this isn't the issue with this one right now. This one's already been replaced. But uh, I know this one doesn't have a crack. But with this method, you can find, you know, cracks. You can find out if you have gasket leaks here or if you have gasket leaks down here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go turn on the shop vac, it's gonna get kinda loud, and use the spray bottle full of soapy water and spray it all over the area, I think, uh, where the leaks come from. All right, as it turns out that this fastener right here is loose and the donut gasket down there is a little blown out. So I'll end up replacing that, torquing this down to spec. And uh, that's pretty much the easiest way to find an exhaust leak. Um, yeah, your neighbors might drive by and look at you like you're freaking nuts because you got your vacuum plugged into your tailpipe, but this is the fastest, the easiest, probably the safest. I say safest because a lot of people try to do this with engine running and uh, Everything gets hot. It's not a good idea. Uh, people get under the car with the engine running. It's not a good idea because everything's real hot. It doesn't give you a lot of time to actually find an exhaust leak with a spray bottle if it's getting hot. So it is the uh, pretty much the, the safest way. And uh, yeah, if you uh, found it, uh, the information useful, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment box below. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. You guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend later.